Hey everybody, Craig here with Integrated Physical Therapy and Wellness. Been getting a lot of phone calls lately about some forearm discomfort. Now that we've been sitting home in quarantine, people lifting a lot more weights, people sitting at their desk, hunched over, doing a lot of typing on those laptops. What I wanna to do today is put together a couple of home programs that you can do, some stretches as well as some smashing that you can do with a lacrosse ball to help you alleviate some of this forearm discomfort. We're talking about any side of the forearm, either the inside like a golfer's elbow, the outside like a tennis elbow. We're gonna go through just a few things here and uh, hopefully it helps you out. So what we're talking about here is the forearm smash. And this is something you can use with uh, a, a typical lacrosse ball or we have these foam rolling balls here. And the person who basically taped these things together to make what um, Kelly Starrett calls a peanut is uh, phenomenal. So we have them here, we sell them in, um, in groups of two, but what you can do is take one of those groups and break it into one ball. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll that forearm over that space that creates that discomfort. Make sure that when you're doing it, you're doing it on internal rotation and external rotation, creating that smash all the way along that area that causes you some discomfort. We don't wanna go too hard, we do want to create some space within the, within the tendon and fascial structure, okay? We'll move on to the next exercise in just a minute. So try that at home. You can do it with the one ball or you can do it with the two together. So once we've gotten through the smash portion of the forearm using the, the ball or the peanut, we can now use a foam roller up into the lat area, up into the subscapularis teres minor uh, lat area to try help reduce some of the over restriction and complication that, cut, that is caused when that shoulder blade gets bound down. And sometimes that shoulder restriction can lead to overuse of the forearm muscles. So great way to do that is you find that muscle, that hot, hard or tender spot in that region and we're gonna go through a motion of shoulder flexion with external rotation. Find that spot, hold it there nice and, and, and tight, nice and long, hold it for a little while, and then come back in, find that next spot in there, and take your arm through that range of motion. You can do this anywhere between five and 10 times. It's a great way to really open up those muscles that sit right in that shoulder blade area as they come up into the shoulder that might cause some restrictions in the forearm or in the back of the shoulder. So add this one into that program right there. The third exercise that we can do with lateral epicondylitis is something called voodoo band flossing. Now I've gone ahead and I've wrapped this on before uh, I started the video. And the reason is that I needed help wrapping it on. So what we do is we start up really tight up top and we work it all the way down through the elbow. And what we can start doing is because a lot of times athletes lose that end range of motion of extension that causes the forearm flexors to have to work that much harder. So once we get our band on, we can take ourselves either actively ourselves or with a therapist through those ranges of motion. And what's happening here is we're breaking up some of the restrictions that lie within the tissue itself. We're also cutting off some blood flow to the area and some sticky areas where um, once we take this band off, we'll just get a bum rush of good blood and good fluid coming back down through that area. So you can see I'm going through these different ranges of motions, really extending through the full range. Once I've done that, I can even go to something like this machine that I have behind me and I can hang from that machine with my arm overhead and going into internal and external rotation. So now we combine what we've done in the first two exercises, which is the smashing of the forearm with the peanut ball, as well as what we did on the floor with the foam roller. Now, if your hand is turning white, if you're losing feeling in your hand, if you're having any sensational issues with that, obviously this band comes off a lot sooner than later. Uh, pay attention to that. I highly recommend you do this with a therapist who knows what they're doing at first but this is a great way to start working on those forearm extensors and flexors that might be giving you some stickiness, some pain, some lateral epicondylitis, tennis elbow, or medial epicondylitis, golfer's elbow. Great conservative ways to treat these uh, diagnoses, these symptoms, these problems, and uh, stay tuned. We got more coming your way.